like most of the people who watch my videos are fans of the LCD crap that I can get my hands on. Well, if you're one of those people, I've got good news for you. Because I got some more crap. Uh, well, this this one's quite different. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get into it. It's a head-to-head -head interactive soccer game. Uh, advertises David Beckham. I looked him up online. He is real. I mean, I don't know soccer, but I had to look it up because remember when I did the skateboarding game and it was that Rodney or whatever his name was and it turned out he wasn't a real person. <laughs> so I had to look this up. This guy is actually real. And this thing's not as crappy as other crap that I've gotten my hands on, but um, it is made in Hong Kong, so ugh, red flag. But all the pictures of him are like him standing next to some kids, and it's Matchmaster, the David Beckham Academy, or Beckham, however the hell you pronounce it, I don't care. Uh, win one of hundreds of David Beckham Academy prizes. <laughs> yeah, I looked that up, that contest expired a year ago. Uh, so that's probably why this was in the dollar store. It says on here it was at Walmart at one point, so... Yeah, it's got all these different games on it. Uh, dribbling. Uh, does that look like some kind of generic arcade object dodging game to you? The wall. <laughs> That's Breakout. Uh, sprints where you just keep pressing right on the control pad until you get to the end. Passing, shuttle runs, free kicks, and there's some more too. Uh, let's see here. Is there anything? Yeah, raise your soccer player by training, feeding, and making sure they're in bed on time. The more you look after your player, the more skillful he becomes. Is this a soccer game or a Tamagotchi? Um, train hard by playing the seven games. Uh, da, da, da. There's the contest that expired. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and open this up. Yeah, yeah, I've already played this, but think of it like this. Would you rather watch a true unboxing of LCD crap where I spend the whole duration of the video not knowing how the crap works? Or would you like to watch a fake unboxing where I actually know what I'm doing and know how the product works? <laughs> That's the way I look at it, right? Alright, there's the weird thing. We'll come back to that in a bit, as we always do. I'm trying to get the instructions out of here. Here we go. Matchmaster. And here's the sheet for the contest. Again, that expired a year ago. Uh, let's see here. Where does it say? Entries must have internet. Entrants must have internet access as of June 1st, 2008. Yeah, that website is still open, but from what I saw, it doesn't talk about this contest anymore. Obviously, because it was almost a year and a half ago. So these are the instructions. I don't. I don't get it. I mean, it's way overly complicated for an LCD game. Uh, you've got your schedule here. You want to make sure you do it just right. You want to make sure he gets up at the right time and eats breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the right time. I, I don't know. It's just way too over the top for an LCD game. There's no English in here. It's in proper English, unfortunately. Uh, it tells you how to plan your daily routine for your character. Um, let's see here. You have a short time to make your choices. During each meal period, you may choose three items from each section on the list. A bonus orange juice drink will appear during the day for two added F points. An alarm will sound for three minutes to inform you. What? <laughs> what does orange juice fall from the sky? Let's see. You have a one hour period to plan how much sleep time your machine requires between your machine. What are we train? Is this a Tamagotchi, a soccer player, or a computer? It's so unclear. Uh, your machine you cannot play any games to take part in a match. Learning this play. This almost makes it sound like you have to actually make the system sleep for a proper amount of time. Uh, so you just train your trainer, you bulk them up, and that's about it. I don't get it. It's just way overly complicated. So, the thing itself is this weird egg thing. It's got a wrist strap holder, doesn't come with one. But, wrist straps are a waste. So it takes two AAA batteries, and it reminds me of one of those pet egg things, you know? That have the, the filers on it, and you like get the dead skin off the bottom of your foot. That's what this reminds me of. So, let's go ahead and open it. The buttons are really rigid, like they take a lot of effort to press. It doesn't feel cheap, but you know it's cheap on the inside. 
So you've got the date and time and all that. When you press start, this is like your standby screen here. And press start again. And I don't know what any of this game, what any of this stuff is, but I can't say I really care. Let's just look through them all one by one. Oh, so I'm, I'm, I'm planning his stuff. Let's see. Uh, we'll make him pretty much crap his pants. We'll give him Bran. Is it working? Banana. Milk water. It's not even selecting anything. Okay, apparently, yeah, B selects stuff and A goes back. Yeah, let's, let's do it backwards, you know? Let's do it backwards than what we're used to. That helps. So, it's not even letting me select anything. Normally, this is the part where I'd look in the instructions to figure out why, but I really just don't care. I really just don't care. Let's see what he's, what else he's got to eat. Meat, chicken, fish, salad, potato, vegetable, apple juice, dinner, pasta, meat, salad, fruit, smoothie, yogurt. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Why would you bother to go through all this? Uh, see what the training... See, I can't even select anything. I, I don't know. But I really just don't care. I can't tell you how much I just don't care. I'm not even going to bother to look in the instructions. The only thing I really care about are the little mini games. Let, let's do the little breakout clone here. Come on. Oh. There we go. Oh. There we go. It's freaking breakout. It's breakout. I mean, would you be doing this to train in real life? Oh, look at it. I just got a multi-ball power-up. Would you be doing this in real life training for soccer? No, you wouldn't. I mean, when at all would you ever be doing training for soccer and you collect a power-up that all of a sudden the soccer ball you're kicking against the wall splits into three? I'm done. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Quit. You got zero. Wonderful. I don't care. Go away. See what? No, let's do the sprints one. Start. Right, 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 right. Wait. I don't know. Sometimes it's. I can't figure out if it's just right or if it's left, right, left, right, left, right. I don't know. Go, 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 go. Hooray! I'm bored with you now. Go away. Game over. Wonderful. Go away. Please go away. Please go away. Oh my god, go away. I don't care anymore. I really don't care. Uh, let's try dribble. That looked interesting on the box. Uh, it looks, doesn't look like the, they're being dribbled. It looks like they're raining. Raining balls. What the? Did I just kick that guy? It's like, eh! Uh. I just got game over. Okay, let me let me try that again. Hold on. Come on. Oh my god. Come on. You could do it. Come on. I'm pressing button. It's, it's not doing anything. Come on. Okay, let's try this again. Ah, uh, do I click the balls or the people? Okay, I'm doing. I'm hitting the balls. I can't hit the people. Again, this falls under the category of why would you ever do this in real life? Does this does this ever happen in real soccer training? I mean, I don't even pay attention to professional soccer, and I don't think this is something that they do to train. I don't think they have relentless onslaughts of fellow players and soccer balls coming at them, and they have to dodge the people and hit the balls to get a high score. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm done. Go away. I'm done with you now. Please go away. Score 22. That's wonderful. Please go away. I got one A. I don't even know what an A is. Got one S? I don't know. Please go away. Oh my god. Okay, so that's it for that. But there is one more thing. If you had a good eye, you might have noticed on the packaging and in the instructions it talked about multiplayer. Well, this does have multiplayer. It actually has an infrared port on it. So if you can actually find someone who has one of these things, you can play multiplayer with it. And that's exactly why. I bought a second one. I'll show off the multiplayer with you. As much as I don't care about the fact that you level up your player and whatnot, I gotta say, the infrared thing, 
sounds kind of interesting. Oh, apparently I'm poor. And this one it says ready. I named this one for little cat. It's like this is little cats. Okay, so let's go to IR game. Oop. Uh, we'll do sprints. Play now. Yes. So both the players go at the same time. It's it's not actually transferring anything right now. Just both players are going right now, and when both players are finished, you face them at each other, and it'll display the results. Result? Okay, it's trying to transfer them. The lids are in the way. Come on, transfer the results. Transfer the results. It's not transferring. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you're practically touching each other. Come on. Boy, they make it sound at least a little bit interesting with the multiplayer feature that's not working. Oh, it went. And it's showing who won and who lost. Yes, <laughs> a win and a victory at the same time playing. Let's see here. Let's try penalty kicks. Play now. Yes. Oh, oh this, these stupid egg cover things. Whatever. It's such a stupid design, I swear. Alright. I don't know. You just seem to take turns kicking. This is one of the games where it's actually updated in real time. You know, whose turn it is and how the opponent just did. Let's see if I can see the infrared on camera. Oh, cool, you can see it. And if you point them away from each other and you try to keep playing, eventually they'll show X's on the screen. Are they still connected? Let's try this. I got the... Yep, see? They got disconnected. Now this one's all confused. <laughs> this one's all confused now because the other person's gone. Oop, oh, there we go. Yep, so... I don't know. This is where I would make some kind of, you know, witty conclusion remark to the video, but I really don't have anything else to say. I mean, it all boils down to this. You can make it as complicated as you want with this leveling up Tamagotchi-like bullcrap, but in the end, it's just another piece of LCD crap from the dollar store.